So is the time that I certainly have been waiting for. This is my review of Vault City's brand new white chocolate raspberry cheesecake in association with S43. This is an 8% modern sour beer, but what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we are finally going to be drinking the white chocolate raspberry cheesecake modern sour beer from Vault City in association with S43 Brewery. This is an 8% modern sour beer and let's waste no time and get this cracked open into a glass and see what it's all about. I've got huge high hopes for this um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get it into a glass see what it's all about. Oh, may have poured it a little bit too quick. Right, beer in a glass. We've got about 15 fingers of head. It's a lovely sort of red, rhubarb almost colour. I don't know what it is about this Polly's glass, but it's very easy to um, over pour very quickly. Four fingers, very compacted head though. For a sour beer, there's a lot of quite a thick head there. I'm going to wait for it to calm down a little bit, knock it down there, see if that helps anything. See where we get. Anyway, let's get some aroma first. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of raspberry, sweet sort of red fruit, strawberry. And then there's this sort of creaminess, this sort of vanilla. It is like white chocolate. Yes, it, it, but it does smell a little bit like strawberries and cream a little bit. Oh, it smells really, really good. You expect it to smell pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh. Mm. This is a really good... You know, I, you go into it thinking... It's going to be good. It's Vault City. It's raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake. How can it not be good? But then you think, oh, but wait a minute. What if it isn't? What if it's, well, whether it's overhyped? It's not overhyped. First, you've got a really smooth, creamy, velvety sort of mouthfeel. Big hits of the sort of raspberry. There's definitely loads of sort of loads of fresh raspberries. I mean, we've had raspberry sour beers from Vault City before, and there's a lot of that sort of flavour coming into it. But just when you think, oh, is it just raspberry? Where's all the white chocolate cheesecakey bit? Then there's this sort of, I don't know how they do it, but it's, it's almost like it's sort of, you get the raspberry and then straight away, it's almost like it follows it, just like sliding behind it, that sort of white chocolate flavour. You know, you've had the Milky Bars, you've had white chocolate buttons, and you've had all kinds of white chocolate. You know what the white chocolate tastes like, and it is just like that. It's almost as if you've had the raspberries and then you just stuck a square of sort of white chocolate into your mouth and it just melts away. It sort of melts through that sort of raspberry flavour and just adds this creaminess to it. Whether there's a... I mean, the, the white chocolate then... You know, it's amazing how that white chocolate then even develops into a little bit more of a creamy vanilla sort of almost cakey biscuity sort of flavor so that's obviously the cheesecake it is it's brilliant it is absolutely brilliant the the whole structure the sort of the whole thing is a, is a really great thing you you when you read white chocolate raspberry cheesecake you're thinking yeah it's going to be a sort of a creamy raspberry flavor that's it but it's amazing how that complexity comes into this bit It's almost when you put it to your mouth and you're bringing in some of those aromas when you taste it, you almost get more of that sort of, the cheesecake part of the aroma is, is coming into your nose more than the mouth. Then you get huge hits of raspberries, huge hits of white chocolate, but nothing overpowers each other and nothing sort of with all those sort of complex flavours. And let's face it, I mean, when you're looking at a fruit and a chocolate and you're mixing them together, there's lots of 
lots of ways that, that could end up in disaster, but it just sort of works so well. I mean, Vault City just, just know how to make these sort of beers. And it's incredible how what that sweetness of the sort of, that sweet chocolatey sort of flavour doesn't sort of get in the way of that sort of very fruity, fresh fruit sort of raspberry flavour, that, that freshness. And the other thing I need to go back to, which I haven't even mentioned yet, when you first taste it, a little bit, because I'm not used to it now, it's not so much now, but when I first tasted it, I was thinking, it's almost like raspberries, chocolate, cheesecake, and then, whoa, there's the sour bit right at the end there. But it does really sort of hit you. It's just, it just is there. It just gives that little bit of, makes you sort of draw your teeth a little bit that over sweetness that that goes into that sour and that's the brilliance of this beer in that it's got everything going for it it's got the chocolate it's got the it's got the raspberries but nothing gets in the way of each other another ruins the chocolate doesn't ruin that fresh raspberry flavor and the raspberry doesn't overpower the sort of the creamy vanilla chocolatey sort of flavor then you've got this sort of cheesecake undertone and i suppose that's almost in the mouth feel and then when you think wait a minute this is supposed to be a sour beer bang it hits you that sort of sweetness gets to a point on the back of your you know in the in the, on the taste buds where it gets to such a level that it just goes into that sour sour sort of flavor that sort of you know that fizzy cola bottles sort of flavor that cherry fizzy cola bottles that's what you're getting on the on the, on the sort of back end that real sour and i think a lot of the time with a vault city and it's probably because I, why I like them so much is that they have these incredible flavours in all their beers that they make and the complexity and the sort of, you know, they're, they're like Willy Wonka for like sour beers. But the thing is sometimes missing with a lot of their sour beers is actually the sourness. You know, it's like some sour beers, they're just all about the sourness and then there's a bit of whatever the flavour might be sort of on top of that. But the sourness is the big thing. But with Vault City, the way that they make their beers is that they get all the flavours that they tell you about. You know, they're mashing all these flavours together and they, as much as they can merge into one, they you still go on a journey with them. You get one thing and then goes into another and then it sort of gets something else and then there's a something in the background and it all sort of works really well. But this is the first Vault City beer that, I, that I've had where I've got a real genuine sour kick at the end. And... Sometimes that can sort of like, that's why I don't drink loads of sour beers because I think just think it's always very one note. It's just like, just make it sour. And it, all the other stuff will just sit in the background. But the sour bit here is the punchline, really. It's the, you're getting that creaminess, you're getting the raspberries. And then just when you think, is this a, oh, yes, it is a sour beer. There's that sort of hit of sourness. And it's, a, it's an incredible beer. And it's incredible just because... I mean, it's incredible because it's Vault City. It's incredible because it's raspberry chocolate, white chocolate and cheesecake. And you think, oh, that could be a mess, but it isn't a mess. And it's 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 wizardry, you know, in terms of beer, because it's not overly sickly. It's not overly tart and sour. It's just got everything perfectly balanced. And the other thing to say is that 8%, if you look at a beer, sometimes I look at cans of beer and I, I look at them like this and I go, yeah, okay, what's, yeah, that, that sounds quite good. And then I look at the percent and it's like, especially with like double IPAs, for example, I think, oh, 8%, oh, it's going to be really strong. Oh, you know, is, is that, is it going to be like with a, with a New England double IPA, for example, is it going to be too hoppy? Is there too much of that sort of real big juice flavour that can just sort of overpower the beer? And then he said, I'm going to get that sort of burn from alcohol. And, and, and I can't drink many of them. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to ruin myself. But, you know, it doesn't, you know, even though it's 8%, it's irrelevant. I mean, unless you're sort of saying, or oh, how, many, how many of these can I have before I sort of go for a drive, for example. I mean, really, you should have none of them. But the point is, is that you're not getting that 8%. And it doesn't, if it was 4%, if it was 6% or 8%, I don't think that that comes into the equation. You know, yes, it's in the background in that, you know, you've probably, if you've had two or three of them, you would, you would really start feeling it. But for me, 
you're not getting any inch of that alcohol at all. It doesn't matter what the alcohol content is in terms of the enjoyment of the actual beer itself. It's an incredible beer. And I'm I'm thinking I'm going to score it. I make this bit. I'm I'm up to ten minutes already, and I haven't got to the, the scores yet, because I always want to savor the drinking of it and savor the review of it. Because I think if anyone's watching this and thinking, I've heard about these vault cities. Yeah, they make these weird beers, and you get all kinds of funny chocolatey flavors. And we've well, you know what we what have I had? I've had we've had a lime chocolate lime beer, which is a key lime pie sour beer but it was like chocolate and lime worked brilliant we've had a maple pecan apple crumble sort of beer and you think oh there's lots going on there but it's just perfect really really good beer and to be honest their beers the more quirky they get they are actually they better they are i mean this is a this is the sort of beer that i'm you know that it's worth waiting for and you think what worries me is that I don't even know if this is still available. I mean, I bought this three weeks or so ago and I don't know if it's still available because you want to buy it. If you do see it, if you go to your bottle shop and you see this and you think, oh yeah, I remember Rocket did a review of this. Do yourself a favour and buy it because it is good. It might sound sickly, it might seem weird. You know, maybe you don't like white chocolate. Maybe you don't like raspberries. I mean, I, I can't believe you know, that I'm saying that, but... Maybe just think it's just too off the wall to really be an enjoyable beer, but it is an incredible flavour sensation. And it's one of those sort of beers that two years ago, and I've just hit my two years since I've been really drinking, just over two years I've been drinking craft beer. I would ne This would never have come on onto my radar. And I'm thinking, my God, what have I missed? Because this is an incredible, flavoursome, really interesting and really exciting beer to drink yeah i mean the only thing wrong with this beer is that i won't want to have i could probably drink another one but i'd probably have to sort of stop at two it's not a beer that you want to drink all night it's not a beer that you want to go out with your mates in a pub and drink because it's it's not that sort of beer but it's that sort of beer that we want a little bit of sweetness and you think oh i've had enough of that beer and that bitterness that i maybe get from the beers that you're drinking and you want a little bit of sweetness a little bit of juice but you don't want to drink you still want to be drinking you know and you maybe don't want to go on to some weird cocktails or something like that and you want to drink something that's still beer like this is an incredible beer so all i can say is if you see this beer go out and buy it now let's get some scores Okay, let's get the scores for this incredible beer from Vault City. This is a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. And it says, it says here, it says it's twinned with S43. I know if you've seen uh, one of my pals, uh, Northern Southern Beer Reviews, he actually took this beer and he mixed it with a stout and made an incredible sort of cocktail maybe i should have done that if i buy another can of this i should do that as well because uh and the s43 were the sort of provider of that sort of stout that is a cherry chocolate stout it worked really well for that but anyway this is an incredible beer vault city have done it again let's go through the scores though first the aroma well when you put first put your nose to it you think oh, i'm gonna enjoy this there's lots of that fresh raspberry sort of it's almost like you put loads of raspberries in a glass and mush them all up and that's the aroma you're getting. It's not like an, a raspberry flavour uh, or, you know, a, a, an artificial raspberry aroma. It's, it is like fresh raspberries mushed up in a, in, a, in, a, in a glass. And just when you think, oh, I'm really enjoying that, then there's that, there's a creaminess that sort of lingers there, that sort of vanilla creamy i don't want to say white chocolate because i know that's what it is it's a white chocolate but it's it's a sort of vanilla creaminess that just sort of goes oh, it just really smells inviting and really good there's a little hint of that sourness there's a just a tiny hint of sourness but not there's a lot of beers when i smell the sour beer and that sort of sourness is so dominant but it's just sort of lingers as well in the background it's an incredible aroma and as soon as you smell it you think i've got to put this in my mouth 17 i'm giving it for aroma appearance wise well i poured it badly but you know even now look at it it's a lovely sort of pink rhubarb color um with a 
really, you can see how creamy that head is and the lace in the glass. I think it looks great. I'm giving it nine out of 10. Flavor wise, look, this beer is incredible flavor. You've got raspberries, you've got that white chocolate flavor that comes in and you think, can it really be like raspberry and white chocolate? Or am I sort of, or do you think, or is the flavor sort of like a sort of, a sort of, almost like a tribute of those flavours, but no, it tastes like real raspberries with white chocolate melted into it. And then there's this sort of, just when you think there's this sort of cheesecakey thing in the background, a sort of biscuity sort of, that creaminess develops into sort of almost like a, that sort of, a little bit more full on white chocolate, as if it's like the most indulgent white chocolate, the really expensive white chocolate, you know, when it's sort of like, really indulgent and and that's the sort of almost that cheesy sort of cheesecake flavor coming into it and it's absolutely incredible it really is great and then you think oh wait a minute this is a sour beer and then bang the sour hits you get that little sharpness that little bit of oh it's got too sweet and then but it doesn't stick around it doesn't overpower it doesn't dominate it doesn't ruin the beer it doesn't the punchline is there but it doesn't sort of go oh we've ruined all the rest that you've tasted it's an incredible taste sensation a taste journey that you're going on so i've got to give it a very high score i'm going to give it 38 out of 40 for flavor it's smooth it's creamy it's perfect in terms of the mouthfeel but those flavors are so complex in terms of the way that they sort of come in they lay it in 38 as a very high score for uh, flavour. Value for money. Well, I mean, I suppose this is the only bit with dips down, really. I mean, this is not, these aren't cheap beers. Vault City never make beers that's free quit. I mean, they have made beers that are free quit, you know, because they've been in the supermarkets. But these are more indulgent sort of beers because you're not going to buy loads of them. They're a treat, you know, and this was what, £6.50? I think it was something like £6.50, something like 6 80 even. More expensive than most of the beers that I would buy on a, on a monthly basis. But to be honest, it's really worth it. And it's 8%. There's loads of really good ingredients going into this. You know, it's a very good quality beer. And when you think of how good a quality it is, you think, yeah, of course that's worth that sort of money. But I'm giving it eight for value. And my overall experience, well, I do love Vault City. And I do, if it, you know, I'm not a massive fan of sours, but when it comes to Vault City, if I had unlimited funds, I would buy every Vault City that they had. But as you say, they're a little bit more expensive. You've also got to try and slot them into how you drink them because like, this is not a drink that I'm going to suddenly want to think, oh, I'm going to have a lager after this. It just does not work like that. Even, a, you know, an IPA or Palau or whatever, I'm not going to have that after this. This is the sort of, it's almost like a standalone drink that you have, or it's a drink where you sort of, you've had a lot of beer and you just think, I need a little sweetness. And this just does it, a real treat. So so that's where you slot it all in. But my overall experience is that when it comes to Vault City and beers, this is, Vault City make the best sour beers. And I don't think there's anyone that even gets close to them really in terms of sour beers. But in terms of this beer and how it ranks in terms of sour, uh, Vault City stuff, it is the best of them. It is the best that I've tasted. And I'm also going to so, go as far to say that this is probably, at the moment, and we're in, what, June, we're halfway through the year, this is my beer of the year. It really is. I don't, I've not had a beer as good as this. I've had some good beers this year. I've had some some really great IPAs. But in terms of the way this makes me feel, the flavours that it gives me, I think it's absolutely incredible. And, you know, again, it makes me want to think, I'm going to buy more Vault City. I have just bought a Vault City one, which is a banana split, which could be as incredible as this, but it's got, this is a very high bar. So anyway, I'm waffling now. I'm giving this 18 for my overall experience. And we top the scores up. And I think, I don't this is certainly the first time this year, and it's probably the first time, I don't even think last year we reached this. I think I've only had one or two beers in the whole two years that I've been doing this channel that have got in the 90s. This is the Van Halen of beers. You know, if this was a guitar solo, it'd be Eruption by Eddie Van Halen. This is a 90 out of 100, an incredible beer, a beer worthy of beer of the year. I will be very surprised if we get a beer that rates higher than 90. We get a few beers that go in there 
half a dozen or so beers that get over the sort of 85, but to get over 90, there's nothing wrong with this beer at all, really. I mean, it's almost like the perfect beer. I can't see anyone who wouldn't like to drink this beer. It's incredible. So do yourself a favour. I'm showing up the glass again, the, the can even. This is a, a Vault City white chocolate and raspberry cheesecake sour beer. Buy it now. If you see it, buy it. If it's still available, we hope it's still available. If it's not available, then do yourself a favour and go, Rocker talked about that beer as his beer of the year, and it is my beer of the year so far. I should be looking out for other beers that are quirky and not being worried about them. Yes, I might pay a little bit more for them, but, you know, just save it for that special occasion. It is really worth it. So, an incredible beer, and I, I've probably given this beer a lot more time in terms of my review. It's probably kicking 15 minutes plus but it's a really good beer, 90 out of 100. If you're still here now at this end of the uh, end of the video, then you know you should be already looking for a bottle shop that's, that sells this beer because it's a really good beer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed the fact that I've really loved this beer, and I hope you're not too jealous that I'm going to sit and enjoy this while you're probably thinking it's not available anymore. You should have done this review earlier. I'm sorry for that, but just do yourself a favour and buy it a quirky Vault City beer because you won't be disappointed. So that's enough for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you go out and buy some Vault City after watching this. And until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Keep on rocking.